In this video, we will learn how to add Google Forms responses to Zoho CRM as contact automatically. So I want that whenever the form response is received in my Google Form application, the same response should be automatically added as contact in Zoho CRM application so that I don't need to export or I don't need to copy and paste each response and create the contact individually or manually. And I'm going to create this automation with the help of an automation software where Google Forms will be the trigger application and Zoho CRM will be the action application want to learn how you can create this just follow this video till end so I'm going to fill this travel booking and inquiry form in front of you and you will see the responses of the same will be automatically created as contact in Zoho CRM and for that I need to connect these two application with the help of Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software. You can reach to this website by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link in my description box. Now first you will have to create your free account from this button. And uh, you will also get free tasks to test this automation in the free account. I'm already an existing user. That is why I have clicked on sign in, then clicked on access now. And this is how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here exactly, we are going to start creating our automation, our workflow. Okay, so provide any random name to your workflow. I am providing the name as Google Forms to Zoho CRM automation. Okay, you can provide any random name. Click on create and you will see two boxes in front of you trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application according to our use case whenever the form is submitted in google forms application create a contact in zoho crm application so this is how we need to connect the application we need to select the application in which we are setting up an automation and since we are setting up an automation in between google forms and zoho crm that is why i am going to select the same and in trigger event new response received will be the trigger event now you can see a webhook url has been provided along with a set of instructions so you'll have to read these instructions one by one and with the help of this webhook url you will have to connect your google forms with public connect okay so let me show you how you can do it copy this webhook url go to your google forms and you will have to click on this response section of your form so that you can actually open this google spreadsheet and with the help of this spreadsheet only we are going to build connection in between google forms and Pabli connect okay so you'll have to go to this extension tab click on add-ons click on get add-ons and here you will have to search for Pabli connect webhooks let me show you Pabli connect webhooks okay and since i am not building up this connection for the first time that is why this add-on has been installed already but when you will establish this connection you will have to install this extension install this add-on first and then once you have installed that add-on click on this extension once again and you will find this Pabli connect webhooks option Click on initial setup and you will see a box will appear in front of you and it is asking for the webhook URL. So I am going to remove the existing data and let's copy the fresh URL and paste it here in the spreadsheet. Okay, paste your webhook URL and trigger column while well, it is the last data entry column of your sheet. In my case, I am having the data up to G column. That is why I am going to select the same. But if in your case, the data is up to H, I, J, K with any column up to, you can actually add the same. Now click on send test and you will see it will show that the no data found in row two because our spreadsheet is actually has no data. So let us first fill a particular data. So come back to Public Connect and first read the instructions. 
log in to the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so basically in the note it is asking us to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means basically the submission of the form with few details so i am going to fill the dummy details here so assume that the traveler name is dummy user all right the traveler's email is admin at the rate pablitudes.com all right now it is asking for the traveler number i am going to add a dummy number once again okay one 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 so i have added a dummy number now what is your budget for traveling so how about the travel budget is actually fifty thousand plus and the destination of the city assume that the user is filling out the goa now let's submit this form so the form has been submitted let's go to our spreadsheet and yes this spreadsheet has recorded the response the recent response of google forms and we were actually about to connect this spreadsheet with pabli connect so that the data can be captured here so i am going to copy this webhook url once again i will go to spreadsheet open extension open your pabli connect webhooks click on initial setup once again and oh let's open it okay webhook url again i'm going to paste the webhook url and here i'm having the data up to f that is why i am going to add the same click on send test and wait for the action wait for the response test data sent successfully this is the date this is the name email address number and every detail has been sent go back to public connect and check for the response and yes you can see the response is received let me even show you the details one by one the traveler name is here the traveler email is here phone number budget city here is the name of the spreadsheet so we have every detail that means the first step of our integration is actually done but here i would like to tell you two important things once you have captured this data inside this spreadsheet and connected this spreadsheet with pabli connect you will have to click on submit and after that make sure you enable this particular option which i am about to show you send on event what is the meaning of this clicking on the send on event once you will click once you will enable this particular option that means now onwards whenever the new data is going to arrive here that data will be automatically sent to pabli connect and this is how the automation is going to take place let me cross check whether this particular thing has been tick marked yes it is tick marked that means the data will be sent automatically here and one more thing i would like to tell you that whenever you are working with the google spreadsheets along with pabli connect make sure the other gmail account should not be logged in to other tabs or in case you are logged into multiple gmail accounts make sure you work in incognito window just like i am doing otherwise your connection will not be made and remember remember this particular tip okay come back to pabli connect and we were about to add these details to zoho crm as contact so that is why the second application will be the zoho crm only and in the action event i am going to choose create a contact because i want to do the same click on connect click on add new connection connect with zoho crm okay it is asking for the domain here so i am having the domain as zoho.com let me even show you my zoho.com account here is the application okay so let me paste the same zoho crm sorry zoho.com click on save all right it will now ask you the access of zoho crm well i am already logged into zoho crm in different tab so it has taken me directly to this page click on accept and you will see your zoho crm account will be successfully connected yes it is connected and don't worry pabli connect is 100% safe now it is asking for the lead source basically from where exactly you are actually getting these leads so how about i choose the option as 
advertisement only all right now it is asking for the first name last name email and lots of details so i am going to fill the details one by one which are actually important for me for the contact creation in zoho crm and i don't need to copy the above data from this response and paste it here read the text here enter text or map data so once you will click on this button you will find the option of insert data from previous step yes the previous data is actually available in this drop down you just simply have to select that particular data so basically it is asking for the first name let's map the first name well i have actually added a single field in my form so that is why i have just a full name not the first name and last name separately so i'm going to select the same okay last name is also the required step so i'll have to provide some data so how about i provide some data from this response only so i can actually provide the full name only because i don't have any other option but when you are creating this automation in real life make sure you provide these fields separately in your form okay basically the first name and the last name come back to public connect asking for the email address let me find the email address also you can actually search for the details from this section only directly asking for the title well i don't want to fill these details accept the phone number so let me search for the number as well and here is the traveler's number i have mapped all the details which are actually required for me for now in order to create a contact in zoho crm so i'm going to skip all these details because it is a uh, because these are not mandatory field let's click on save and send test request button and wait for the response and you can see response is received value is success let's go back and let me refresh this contact section of zoho crm and whether we have actually have and let's check whether we actually have that contact created or not and yes you can see the contact name is dummy user dummy user why this dummy user dummy user because remember we have mapped in the first name and the last name these values only that is why and here is the email address admin at the rate pablitudes.com the phone number is also here and the created time as well so this is how now onwards whenever this form is going to submit it the same details the same response will be automatically added to zoho to zoho crm as contact and once you have created this automation inside pably connect you can simply close pably connect because everything will work in the back and public connect will take care of all these tasks in backend and you do not have to do anything manually because we have actually mapped the data here and mapping means whatever the details you are going to map here will be automatically replaced will be automatically changed as soon as the new submission will be arrived or new data will be arrived i am also going to attach the workflow link in my description box so that in case you want to clone this workflow into your account you can do this directly from this link not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video